Good morning, Central Illinois. It's Thursday. I'm Matt Sheehan live at our digital desk. Here's a look at this morning's headlines. In the Peoria County courtroom yesterday, the man accused of killing a Peoria doctor, Robert Eli, appeared in court for the first time in person at the courthouse. Eli pleading not guilty to the murder of Dr. William Marshall. A scheduling conference is penciled in for August 19th at 1 p.m. Eli's attorney says he will file for a continuance because he needs more time to collect discovery. Prosecutors say Eli conned his way into the 92-year-old retired surgeon's North Peoria home and then stabbed him to death. And we're learning new details following a shooting-turned-barricade situation last night in Bellevue. An 18-year-old man is now in police custody. It all happened at the Four Seasons Mobile Home Park in Bellevue. A captain with the Peoria County Sheriff's Office tells WMBD around 4.30 yesterday afternoon, neighbors witnessed a man shooting at a car that was leaving the scene. They say the man then barricaded himself inside a trailer. Then around 5.30 last night, four juveniles did leave the trailer. They faced no charges and police have not identified them yet as hostages. For six hours, the Peoria County Sheriff's Office, negotiators, and the Central Illinois Emergency Response Team worked to coax the man outside of the home. We had the trailer surrounded. Um, the Central Illinois Emergency Response Team responded, um, called the individual's name numerous times. Uh, nobody came. We breached a window, and then within a couple minutes, the individual came out and was uh, placed in custody without incident, no injury, and now he's being taken to the Peoria County Sheriff's Office for investigation. Police have not said if the man lived in the trailer he barricaded himself in. Today, we're expecting to hear more about his identity and the charges he faces. In the Twin Cities, leaders with the town of Normal are working to lengthen the life of streets in town by conducting road assessments throughout the next week. Through a contract with engineering consultant Aura, high-tech multifunctioning vehicles will drive the streets of Normal, capturing images and using lasers to measure change in road surface. The director of public works for the town of Normal tells us the data will help in prioritizing and managing street repairs while keeping repair costs low. We've seen some flash flooding in our area. Molly Naslin joins us now with more. 72 on Pontiac on our Pontiac RV camera. Showers and thunderstorms in the forecast today and tomorrow, but a sunnier and drier weekend is ahead. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. For updates on these stories and more, download the CI Proud to Go mobile app.